his body sitting on the washing machine? Well, we haven't finished his new heart yet, so I've had to plug him into the wall socket to keep him going. But why that one? The only spare one was next to the washing machine. Thought he could make himself useful whilst he's stuck there, so he's in charge of sorting out the smelly socks. He doesn't look very happy. He's not happy. I'm not happy either. He put my white lab coats in with a red pair of pants. Everything's pink now. Well, all the more reason to get his new heart finished. Lab coats at the ready. Right. As we've been finding out, the heart's job is pumping blood around the body. It needs to get oxygen and nutrients from the top of your bonce to the end of your big toe. It manages this with the help of the body's circulatory system. Let's check it out. Just like the roads that carry traffic, the body has a network of blood vessels that carry blood around. Uh-oh! Looks like someone was on the wrong side of the road. You see, to keep traffic running smoothly, all the traffic travelling in the same direction will travel on the same part of the road. The same goes for blood vessels. Arteries travel in one direction, veins in the other. Tell us more, nurse. Arteries are the large vessels that carry blood through the heart around to every part of your body. The blood that arteries carry from the lungs is full of oxygen. As they get closer to the surface into smaller spaces, blood is transferred into microscopic vessels called capillaries. When the blood has released its oxygen, it returns back to the lungs and heart through veins. If you could see the blood in your veins, it would look a lot darker than it was in your arteries. The movement of the blood through the heart and around the body is called circulation, and your heart is really good at this. It takes less than 60 seconds to pump blood to every cell in your body. A cool thing is, it doesn't matter if you're standing on your head or jumping on a trampoline. Blood keeps pumping all the way around the body. And remember that clever doors called valves make sure that the blood can't go the wrong way. Blood has to travel in one direction and one direction only. One way or another, I'm gonna find Not you. that kind of one direction. These valves are so important that if there's a problem with them, it can make you feel very poorly. Think of them like doors. Sometimes the valves don't open enough to allow the blood to flow. This is called stenosis, and the heart has to work harder to push blood through. A different type of problem can occur when the valves don't shut properly. It's called regurgitation, and it's when blood leaks backwards. It's a bit like your back door. If it doesn't shut properly, you might get a draft. When the valves don't close properly, blood can leak backwards. Again, your heart has to work harder to push it the right way. Thanks, nurse. Now, body is lucky because we can make him a new heart in our laboratory. It's not quite as easy to replace human hearts. So here's a tip. Make sure you keep your ticker in top shape. Ticker tip. Today's ticker tip is all about cholesterol. You might have heard grown-ups talking about cholesterol or seen it in adverts for low-fat food. So, what is it? Well, it's all about fat. <coughs> cholesterol is a type of fat found in your blood, which your liver makes. You do need some to help your brain, skin and organs to do their jobs, but having too much cholesterol floating about in your blood can begin to clog up blood vessels. Oh. If you've ever had a bath and the plug hole's been filled up with gunky old soap and hair, you'll know that water won't go down the plug hole. But keeping a healthy weight, eating a healthy diet with not too much fat, as well as exercising regularly, will help your cholesterol levels stay healthy as you grow up. Thanks, nurse. I think our washing might have a blockage as well. Too many socks in the wash. We better go. Professor Hallux's Heartbeat, funded thanks to a Heart Research UK Healthy Heart Grant. Find out more and get hands-on at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.